Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to this channel, I talk about fragrances, I do reviews, and I do free fragrance giveaways. So if this information sounds cool and helpful to you, not subscribe to my channel and you like fragrance related content and giveaways, hope you show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. And once you do that, make sure you click the bell icon so you can notify when I upload new fragrance videos and giveaway videos like this and so much more. You'll be first in line to see the video. So today we're gonna to talk about two fragrances, but one fragrance is what we're mainly talking about today and the other one is kind of similar in my opinion, but Let's get right into it. So we're gonna talk about the new 2020 release by the house of By Killian. This is Angel Share. Shout out to my boy Mike from the Killian Boutique in New York City. I'm gonna leave his information down below, his name, um, the store phone number and email. So if you wanna get a bottle like this, when they come back in stock, he'll take care of you or By Killian Rolls on Ice, the two new releases from the Liquors Collection. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the performance, the common factor, and if you should buy this fragrance or not, and my final ratings and thoughts. Let's get it started. Presentation time. This bottle is beautiful, just like the box itself. Let's take a look at it. Beautiful box. You can see they put that in very much detail. The, the bottle itself has a nice plastic top, and the bottom is glass. I wish the whole thing was glass. Nevertheless, it's a beautiful presentation. Note breakdown, we have cognac, oak absolute, cinnamon, tonka bean absolute, sandalwood, praline, and vanilla. So in this fragrance here, I'm gonna spray a little bit on a test strip here. I've worn it for about two weeks now. I just haven't had a chance to review it. I'm reviewing so, so many other fragrances, ladies and gentlemen, but this opens up, you're going to get the, a big heavy dose of the cognac in this fragrance and the oak what I get is more of like the oak is like some woodiness which I feel like it's something that's been sitting or macerating for a long period of time and you pick up like a the oak like a woody vibe like this has been sitting in like a cellar for a little bit of time and then finally it opens up or they crack it open and you get this wafts of of cognac it's just sweet booziness and that comes with the cinnamon and the tonka beanish fragrance together. It blends very, very well. And it's something that I just enjoy wearing. Now I do know some people don't like sweet fragrances. So if you don't like sweet fragrances, you may not like this fragrance here or boozy fragrances, but just keep that in mind. You should definitely get yourself a sample or try that at a Killian Boutique. The middle of the fragrance, you're gonna pick up more of the tonka bean and the cinnamon is fragrance. So the booziness is still there, but it's in the background, but more the forefront, you're gonna get the tonka bean and the cinnamon, it's gonna give it a sweetness. So it's a booziness in the background and the sweetness comes in the forefront. And if you like sweet fragrances, this is gonna be up your alley. Now, for me personally, some people don't like sweet fragrances, I understand it, so you may not like this fragrance. If you, more, if you like more of a fresh, kind of icy, kind of cucumber vibe fragrance, I would suggest checking out the other by Killing, and that is Rose on Ice, which I have a full review in about a couple of days from now. But this one here, I wear a lot. My girlfriend likes it, my friends like it, fan members like it. They just say it smells very great, very sweet, they say. They pick up a lot of sweetness. They don't pick up a lot of booze. They pick up a lot of sweetness when I spray it on their skin. Nevertheless, um, now in the dry down of the fragrance, I definitely pick up the vanilla and the praline. Um, and the praline in this fragrance here, which I get from this fragrance here, is kind of similar to what I get in Dior Fabulicios. And what I mean by that is that it has a praline, it has a vanilla, um, and it has the tonka bean in this fragrance too. So it has similar notes to, um, to Killian by Killian Angel Share. It's not the same, but when you smell tonka bean in that, you're gonna think of this type of a fragrance. It's very heavy, very sweet. Um, well, maybe not sweet on your skin, but on my skin, it's overly sweet. You know, it can be coin at times, so be careful with the sprays on the By Killian one, but they do have a similar note breakdown. If you take a look at note breakdown on these fragrances, but there is some difference. The Fabulicio one doesn't have that cognac, that boozy vibe. It's just a straight up sweet tonka bean bomb. And this is a sweet tonka bean fragrance too. Even though the cognac's in, in the forefront of the fragrance, that tonka bean and cinnamon come in there more in the front and blast right in your face type of fragrance. And then in that dry down, you get the praline that's gonna give it a sweetness, a nuttiness, kind of chocolatey vibe with um, with the Fed Delicios and with this, you might pick up a chocolatey vibe, 
But for me personally, I know my boy Max Georgia Gent said he got a Bach Rouge 540 vibe. I don't get that with this fragrance here personally. Um, I can see what he means by Mason Margiela. Um, by the fireplace kind of i get that same similar vibe i get that with this but i don't pick up the bakery 540 which i'm happy because my girlfriend didn't too much like it because it gave her that latex uh dennis vibe and she didn't like that but she enjoys this one a lot so kudos to by killian for making a stellar beautiful boozy sweet fragrance projection so for me personally I'm getting two to three hours, full arms length. It's a beast mode off of my skin. And what I mean by that is I did five sprays. So I did one, two, three, four, five. And when I went out to hang out with friends and family, they're like, wow, that's straight. Did you just spray that fragrance? I'm like, no, nah, I sprayed about 45 minutes ago before I drove to their house. And like, that fragrance is heavy. And you know, it's just radiating off my skin. I, I can smell it but they can smell it a lot more, they said. Like, they can smell it before they even um, approach me, they said. So for me personally, on my skin, it's beast mode. So I gotta be very careful with the trigger. Maybe three sprays, I'll do a set of five, but I did two here just to check the longevity, which I'll get to in a moment, but projection on me, full arm lift, I have no complaints. Two to three hours of projection is gonna be your, your critical point where people are gonna catch whiff of this fragrance and they're either gonna like it, love it, or they're gonna say it's too much. So I haven't found anybody that said they did not like this fragrance. So that's a plus. Longevity. Okay, so for me personally, I'm getting about seven hours. Maybe eight, but the longest I've gotten on a normal day was about seven hours on my skin. Some people get eight, nine, ten. Um, I've, I put lotion on my skin to get a little more oily, uh, scented free lotion. And yeah, I got about seven hours on my skin. So I really have no complaints. Seven hours on my skin is enough. I wish I got eight or nine. Um, but the the six times that I've worn it, I got about seven hours on my skin, and I did about two sprays here and three on my neck. So maybe if I apply more, it might last a little bit longer on my skin, but seven hours is plenty enough. By seven hours, my day at work is done. If I decide to wear this to work, it's done. If I go out and run errands, I'm not running errands for seven hours. But this is a great fragrance, and the performance is good off of my skin. Seasons and occasions. Okay, so for me personally, I would think this is more of a fall and winter fragrance. It's something I wouldn't wear in the spring and summer. I feel like with this note breakdown here, with the cognac, the oak, um, oak absolute, um, the tonka bean, and the cinnamon, I feel like it's two heavier notes to want to wear in the summer and spring. Maybe a cool spring night if you want to wear this, but I wouldn't wear it in the summer. Not in the dead of summer. It's not where this is a fall winter fragrance. Tend the color of the juice inside. It's more of a darker kind of a fall and winter fragrance in my opinion. But you're buying this fragrance for yourself, whether you're a guy or a girl. Wear it whenever you want. Just be prepared if somebody says it's too loud or too heavy in those type of seasons. Occasions, I would say you can wear it. Um, I would wear it more dressed to your occasion. I don't think I want to wear this casual. I mean, I wear it casual because I had to review the fragrance, but me personally, more of a dressed up like this, going to uh, maybe a nice dinner with your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever, um, going out with uh, friends and families in the colder months when we get able to go out um, during the when COVID, past COVID's over. Um, great for the holidays, it's a great holiday scent. I could see somebody wearing this in the fall and winter time, but that's pretty much it. I wouldn't wear this to work. I think people might take it the wrong way as you've been drinking before you got to work. But then when it dries them more sweetness, they may like, they may not feel that way the same way it felt with the opening. But to me personally, I like this one a lot. So ratings and final thoughts. Okay, so for me personally, I want to give this a 9.5 out of 10. Only reason why I'm going to knock it five points is because it's a fragrance you can't wear all year round. This is going to be primarily a fall and winter fragrance. And the price for $195, some people might say that's too much. It's almost a $200 fragrance. I know some people have said Killian leans more... Um, they would say more a designer side, niche side. I'm not gonna have that debate because that's gonna decide on a person and what they can afford. So if you wanna call it niche, call it niche, call it designer, it's whatever. End of the day is you buy the fragrance because you like the fragrance, not because it's designer or niche, because you're gonna wear the fragrance. You're not a fragrance reviewer, so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Buy it because you enjoy it, not because me or another viewer says it's designer or niche. Buy it because you love the Killian fragrance or the Killian fragrance brand. That's why I buy this fragrance, because it smells amazing. Um, 
And yeah, that price is a little bit high for some people. $200 is a lot of money, so definitely try to get yourself a sample. Go to a Killian Boutique and spray it on your skin. And if you enjoy it, then buy it. At the end of the day, I enjoy this one a lot. I'm gonna wear it more in the fall and winter. I'm happy to have it in my collection. I love this beautiful bottle presentation itself. Even if I didn't like the juice, I would love this bottle just to have in my fragrance collection because it's something that most people don't have. Oh yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, this bottle was purchased by me. Killian did not send me this bottle. The Killian reps did not send me this bottle. I bought it myself, just so you guys know. So this is not a sponsor video at all. But definitely check this fragrance out here. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. If you like booziness, sweet, seductive type of fragrances, you're gonna like this one right here. Thanks for watching another fragrance video. If you heard this fragrance by Killian Angel Share or by Killian Rose on Ice, leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching another fragrance video. If you like my type of content and you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider after watching this video to click that red subscribe button down below. Click like button if you like this type of content and want more of it. And make sure you click the bell icon so you can notify when I new fragrance videos or giveaway videos. You'll be first line you could win. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Bye.